Hi, Beatles Killer J here. And Liam. Yeah, we're back again. I know the last time we reviewed was in December of last year, you know. Or November is a long time there, but we're here now, there. Mm -hmm. So, today's game so, is... Go ahead. So, today we're talking about Scarlet Nexus, developed by Bandai Namco Studios. You might remember them for their games that um, which is called Big Bang. And it follows a similar style. It's um, an anime-inspired hack-and-slash open-world game. Uh, unlike Pompey, however, it is single-player, and as a result, it's packed to the brim with a lot of features and details to keep it fresh and exciting. Um, how would you describe the gameplay? Uh, anyone who doesn't know what the gameplay is like well, in Scarlet like, Nexus. Okay, the gameplay is like a role play, is an RPG, but it's a hack-and-slash. Similar to Devil May Cry, basically. Similar to Del May Cry, like the like the older Del May Cries with the gameplay, and there's also Yuto and Kasane. Kasane, Yuto is basically okay. your guy who uses swords in that theory. He's more close personally. Yeah, the other girl she uses daggers, I believe. So yeah, she uses daggers mm -hmm. basically there. And the enemies are insane in this game. You said they're insane. Yeah, the boss fights. The boss battles are insane too. They're very intense, sir. And good thing you you got a lot of experience points. And what I did was the buy, I bought a lot of health potions. I made sure I was stocked up on a bunch of them because the, because the enemies are tough and you need all the health potions you can get. Well, it sounds like a pretty challenging game. Would you say that? Yeah, but once you get past the challenge, it's it's satisfying. So, so there's a bit of a learning curve to it, right? Yes. Yes, yes, there's Learning Curve. Learning Curve, yeah. Learning Curve. And if I'm not mistaken, it's out on Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X, S, right? Yeah, I'm playing the Xbox Series S version. And how would you rate that out of 10? How would I rate it? I give it a 9 out of 10. I know people gave it 8, I give it a 9, you know. I, I was going <laughs> to give it a 10 there, but, you know, that that final, that final, bo boss, the final boss battle kind of annoyed me, so I'll give it a 9 there. I think the final one was a bit too hard. Like yeah, that that one, one, that one was way too hard, but but I managed to beat it. So I'm not knocking the game so, too much there because I, I bought full price there, and people are gonna say, "Oh, this and that." I bought the game full price. I wanted to support these guys for what they did because I seen people reviewed online. And I said, "Like, I might as well get this game." I, this, I got the I got this game personally because it was my uh -huh. to me. I enjoyed it for what it was there. Oh, that's great. Yeah. I wanted to support the developers, that's cool. Yeah, I wanted to support them because, you know, I know people is like, I know I don't have, you know, I just, the games that look appealing and they have cool concepts there, I want to try, if I have the money to buy them, I want to support the devs there. I don't want to just, if it's a game I don't care for I'll, or a game I'm, I'm not really mm -hmm. keen on, I'll wait for a sale, but if it's a game I want to try out right away, I'm going to buy it full price there. That's what I'm, that's what I'm, you know what I mean there? Yeah, exactly. I understand that. Because I I like Scarlet Nexus. I like the gameplay. The story was amazing. It was gripping. Yeah, it's your the story was amazing. Yeah, it's your, giving away too much. It's your typical anime story, but you know, very good. Well, well acted. It was very well executed. Well done. Well acted too. Good acting yeah. there. Good acting. Okay. Uh, what else is there? The cutscenes are basically the cutscenes are good for what they are. And and the enemies are pretty cool too. There, I like the enemy, some of the enemies there. And the fact that I'm uh, the fact that the fact that this game needs more eyes on it there. It needs more people playing it there. If if this game ever goes on sale, if it ever does, please people buy this game. You know you owe it to yourself to play a uh, hack and slash. I know people are turned off by anime, but don't don't let the anime style fool you. The gameplay is where it's at, there. Sure, so really good gameplay. Yeah, the gameplay is uh, regardless awesome. Regardless of not whether you, an anime fan, you'll think will enjoy it, right? Yes. No, that's cool. And the fact you can use tele uh, power kinesis or however... Telekinesis? You, yeah, you set people on fire, you use your mind control powers, you can slam objects against enemies. That help. That helps you too for in the battle because the enemies uh, take damage when you slam stuff at them. 
it helps her. Is there environmental attacks as well? Yes, sir. You can basically pick up all drugs with your with your, with your powers, mm -hmm. and that helps you too. It help them da helps you damage them basically. So there's a lot of variety in gameplay, like uh, a lot of different ways that you can play to help keep it fresh and exciting. Yep. There's an old U2 is clo is close range with the Zord. The other rules dagger based there. So, and what what you can do is do two playthroughs of this game. You can play as the male or the female. Is I've, there any additional features like New Game Plus? Ah, uh, yes, sir. I'm pretty sure there is. Yes, there's a New Game Plus. But you can play as the another character too, and that stuff will carry over, I believe. Oh well. Yeah, you're. It's cool in that sense that you know the fact that uh, the fact is uh, the fact that this game was you know very amazing there. I like the fact that you can run people, run the enemies over with trains and cars. It's pretty insane there. Yeah, I was gonna say that's pretty uncommon. Sounds like you're doing on um, a lot of things, a lot of unique things here. It is a unique game. It does unique things. I know. You know, people. I know there's not a lot of games coming out this year. I know, but I'm looking forward to. To me, I was I I wasn't sure about this game at first, but I see my buddy on YouTube play it. He was enjoying it, but he's a, he he's a good friend of mine there. I, you know, he's a good friend there. I I respect him there, and he he did a good job playing Scarlet Nexus there. So, yeah, he. He did a good job and did a good job on live streaming the game there. You know, he sold me on the game, and I said I said I might as well buy it there. Okay, so that's how you heard about the game and started playing it. Yep, basically. And uh, is there anything you'd like to ask? You'd like to say uh, about anyone who's maybe on the fence about buying it? Well, if you're on the fence. And you don't have a lot of money right now because we're in a, a, a crazy time. We're in a rough time. Buy it on sale and see if it's uh, see if it's up your alley. But if it's on if it's on a, a good discount, yes, buy it. See if it's like uh, I know Canada's the prices are ridiculous, but see if it's like maybe twenty or forty or something like that, or maybe even fifty dollars. Yes, buy it. If it's on a good discount, go get it. That's what I'm trying to say. Because that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And hope ho they should what they what they what they should have did. I know it was on Xbox, but yeah. they should have it on Game Pass. If they would have had this game on Game Pass, it probably would have enticed more people to play it too. There. It would be a good addition that they should add to the Game Pass. Yes. Well, also they're adding Back for Blood there for Game Pass as well there. That Left 4 Dead game there, the Left 4 Dead uh, yeah. thing there, adding that the, the, they already added to Game Pass and that there. Yeah, so I guess why not add Scarlet Nexus? Why not add Scarlet Nexus? Like, yeah, it'll, it'll be perfect for Game Pass there. I know you already got Colvin on there. But why not have Scarlet Nexus too there? Uh, let me see. Well, the graphics, yes, they're good for what they are. Very, very good. Okay. Very high quality mm -hmm. graphics, sir. And let me see if the audio is recording. I was going to say, uh, I saw, because I uh, clipped one of the trailers for that game, and it looked pretty stylish. Yeah, it's stylish, sir. It's pretty, pretty good. It um, definitely looked like huge advancement over their um, previous title, their uh, Cobain, I believe. Yeah. They improved, they improved upon things, basically. And the areas they they excelled at is really well. Also, there's like a like a another mode there. When you uh, how to explain it? Basically, your 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 thing here, your 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 maximum driver that drive bar in the game. You fill that up, and you go in this like crazy mode where you hulk up and throw objects at the enemies. Like it's insane. There, you throw a shit ton of objects at enemies, and you feel like you feel like you're over, like you're powered there, and you actually do. Yeah, I feel powerful somewhat, and you can actually take out some enemies easier that way too. There, but you have to wait till that's full. There, it has to reach a certain gauge, and when it's full, you use it. Throw all the throw all the friggin' objects you can at the enemies, and it does that does a, a whack. It does a crazy amount of damage there. 
It actually helps you in, in, in senses there. So. No, that, sounds, that sounds pretty cool, man. It is, man. And if you beat the. Uh, well, I, uh -huh. Go ahead. If you beat that. If you're wondering if I finished. If you're wondering, I finished it. Yes, I did. So. You said you rated a nine out of ten, right? Like yes. A strong nine. Yeah, yeah. Because the boss fight is uh, a bit too difficult. They could have scaled that down, right? Yeah, you could have scaled down a little bit there, but you know, pretty good. So I guess it's Kilo G here. And Liam. Peace out, people. Later.